Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's Josh here again at CFB Halifax Dockyard. I'm not sure who's with me at the moment. I guess uh, we'll be trickling in. But uh, today is uh, on Monday upper body cardio theme. Uh, we'll be keeping it simple and going over a couple of uh, novel approaches perhaps in a minute here. A note to uh, everyone to please go grab your water and have that nearby. Uh, we will be taking uh, breaks between rounds. Um, grab your favorite music, set that up near the workout space and find a balance between uh, the audio on this video and your own personal music. Um, other than that, we're going to need a couple of pieces of equipment. Um, so today, today I'm in the gym, so instead of grabbing a bag of rice or uh, a random rock or something like that, I have, uh, I have a plyo ball that I deem to be about the right weight for me. So find something that you're going to be able to use. Uh, in this case, we're going to be doing like a rear elevated uh, split squat. So we have to be able to press this overhead and the extra weight's going to make our single leg um, exercise uh, more challenging. I know you're thinking, uh, why have legs in uh, upper body cardio, but it's literally the only exercise and we're involved in the upper body and core when we do it. Okay, so there's that. Uh, also, it feels really great to uh, be able to work our backs, so I want to keep the rowing theme going. So you notice I have uh, these soft plyo boxes stacked to a reasonable height, so when I come into this uh, kneeling position, my back can be maintained neutral and the weight is coming close to the ground, but I'm not bumping into the ground. It's not impeding my range of motion. So hopefully you can find something like that. And again, I went over this, but you can also stagger stance, hinge, hold something like a coffee table, the arm of your, uh, your couch. Maybe you have an actual bench, right? A lot of people here uh, made some purchases or you had a mini gym. Feel free to use that today. Um, other than that, when it comes to, uh, we're gonna keep push-ups in as well. So why rows, why push-ups? It's real hard uh, when we're doing like a jailhouse style workout to you know, include things like tricep extensions and, and bicep curls and that. Some of that stuff can be done, but I'm sticking to fundamentals that are easily applied uh, to the large population. In this case, I'm gonna be using parallel bars. Okay, so the parallel bars uh, are good because it's going to keep my wrist in a neutral position, right? Um, as opposed to uh, flat on the floor. But flat on the floor is fine. We can do that, no problem. Or fists instead. And if you're doing fists, it's not like your uh, karate fist necessarily. Um, what you can do is make fists like this so that the thumb actually makes a little bit extra contact on the ground. And uh, that can be used. Since I have it here, I'm going to use the parallel bars. You could also use dumbbells or push-up handles. Okay, whatever we don't have today, it's going to be fine. If you don't have a little uh, stool to elevate your rear foot, um, the stair at the foot of your staircase, or just a simple split squat with no rear foot elevated. If you don't have a weight, then we don't need to add the press. If you don't have handles flat on the ground, either flat hands or, uh, or on the fist is going to be great. Okay. Also with the cardio theme, let's get a little bit more cardio uh, specific exercise in. So jumping jacks are going to be at, in play. Speed skaters to get some lateral work. Uh, I know we've covered that before, but in the mix it's going to be good. Mainly we want some dynamic uh, conditioning in there, stuff to complement those hikes, swim sessions. Um, and the other ideas from the other instructors. We're going to throw jogging in there as well. It's another fundamental that uh, I'm finding it hard to ignore. Let's just get a bit of that in. And last time when we did all this stuff, we did a, we kept it simple with that same kind of idea and we did everything 30 seconds. Today we're going to go 40 seconds and I got a little overzealous last time. I thought we could get four to five rounds in, but we had unilateral or one side and rest then the other side type of activities that added up. Here we have some of that, well two exercises that are unilateral. 
We're going to keep it all to 40 seconds and we're probably looking at three rounds. It seems to be uh, what I can expect here. Um, I don't hear any issues regarding the sound. Um, if there are any issues, just let me know. I'm going to read the disclaimer. Okay, so in response to COVID-19, uh, PSP is offering virtual fitness to CAF members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness classes tailored to CAF personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not CAF members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning ex any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not CAF members to consult the Get Active questionnaire. You can find that on the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology uh, site. There's going to be a document associated with that. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented today, it's recommended that you stop, consult a healthcare provider. If you're a serving member sustaining an injury during this video, please remember to fill out your paperwork, your CF-98, for your own good and uh, why not, it's in place. Okay, so you understand the exercises, I'll be a little bit slow to set up because I'm going to be moving some equipment around myself, but um, yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. Let's just get on the feet. We're going to snowball it, so really light activity and um, basically build up our energy and uh, how we feel psychologically. Okay, just barely jumping that high, but it's working the ankles, getting the calves going, waking up your knees. Okay, so now we're just going to come back to center and just bring the knees up a little bit, right? Not even to the waist, maybe halfway to the waist. And we don't have to overthink this. The whole idea is there's a time to go read literature and stuff like that and contemplate deep poetry. Right now we're just getting in the zone, getting the blood flowing. Okay, a little side shuffle. Keeping everything at the low off the ground level, just for right this second. Okay, and the knees up a little higher, say close to the waist. Okay, come out of that. And let's do a few squats, so open up your stance. Just come back so you can see my feet if you want to see those. Okay, nice reasonable stance. You can squat in all type of foot positions. I tend to favor moderate width feet moderately outturned, okay? Maybe 30 degrees. Breathe in, tight core. Exhale, stand all the way up in good posture. Okay, so even doing these warm-ups, right? If we skipped a few days, then even just going through this process is gonna reset a few things. If you've been uh, hard at it and you've been doing different modes, then cross training is going to get you away from repetitive strain and boredom. A few more. Okay, that's pretty good there. Uh, just getting the shoulders warm, so thumbs back, core's tight still. Just going through a forward arm circle. Okay, other way. Starting to notice little things like getting a little sweat on, the shoulders are starting to feel better. The spine feels a little better. Open up the shoulders like so, or the chest. Okay, hands up and down by the sides. 
just because we're going to do rows and push-ups and shoulder press. We want uh, the shoulder area to be nice and warm. Bringing them back down and then making large circles. Just rolling the shoulders like so. Trainer Brent, what's going on? Other way. Okay, back on the toes. We're just gonna go through the uh, speed skater drill, but uh, not shooting for the stairs here. We're just gonna go a little bit to the side, stick it a little bit to the side. Okay, so that's our warm up level. As we get into the exercise, you might find yourself exploding a little bit more. But we wanna land with our center mass over uh, nicely stacked joints. We practice this kind of balance work, we'll get better at doing it. Back up. Okay. Let's actually settle that back down. We're doing pretty good there. Let's just get the uh, hamstrings a little bit looser. Not like we're going to go sprinting, but it's commonly tight. Hand down, just opposite leg is going to kick up to the hand. Just basically feeling a little stiff, so we want the whole body to loosen up. We'll do a couple more things after this. Okay, and now into our high push up position. Okay, take a big step, left foot up to the outside of your left hand. Knee hovers off the ground, core is tight, hand by the foot, comes up controllably, uh, under control, right? Nice and smooth. We don't need to overreach. We're feeling a bit of a stretch. Bring it back, kick it out. Same thing, other side. Feel a stretch in the hip, tight core, come on up. Feel a gentle twist in the spine. Back in for one more per side. Okay, nice and smooth. And other side. Just giving our spine a chance to warm up. Okay, back up, and in a bit of a crouch, we're just going to side shuffle a couple uh, shuffles each way. Okay, and we're going to keep this uh, somewhat well paced and uh, just get a nice pump out of it, clear the mind. Uh, looking forward to this setup actually, it's going to be good. Grab a little sip of water if you need it, and we're going to get into uh, round one, starting with uh, the rear foot elevated split squat. Actually, I'll kind of go over that for a sec. So for that, I'm just going to bring that uh, the box here. Looks like it's uh, just under a foot in height. Okay, so what that's going to do, it's going to give me something to put my foot on. Now I'm just going to put the uh, ball of my foot on there. I find that more comfortable than the laces, but you can just lay your laces on the, on the box as well. Then we'll be here, and that's why I have the medicine ball. Okay, so any kind of weight that feels about right, we're going to do single leg, so it's harder on the lower body, harder on the core because of the, uh, the counterbalance. And we're going to add a little bit of weight in the mix, hit the upper body as well as really challenge the core and even more so that single leg. So that might be my favorite lower body exercise of the whole quarantine is, uh, is something like that, a split squat with a little bit of weight. Okay, so we'll go over that, we'll do that. Push-ups, uh, again, we got the handles and I'm just going to be able to use something like this as well. That's going to work. So coming into position can look like so. The parallel up bars are allowing me to go down a little bit deeper. And elevating the feet in a push-up is uh, getting my body more so horizontal. Right? When you're on that big angle like so, your, uh, your resultant force um, right, is going to be a little bit less than if we oppose gravity uh, perpendicularly, right? If we have an angle, 
then there's less of a Y force required. So we're just kind of uh, balancing that out, getting a little extra tweak out of that. Dumbbell row. For the dumbbell row, we'll be back in here. Knee on your little bench or whatever we have, or staggered in position, and we'll be in here. Hopefully with a weight that feels about right. When I was at home uh, rowing the bag of rice, that felt good because the top of the bag, I was able to grip that. Hopefully it has something like that, or a dumbbell, or you can put a strap on something. Whew, jumping jacks, one of the exercises again, everything's 40 seconds. We just want to land on the toes, coordinate this tight core, and that's to get a uh, cardio uh, respiratory response, right? We're gonna get uh, conditioned there, uh, our heart and lungs. Speed skaters, the one we already went over, but we might just kind of get into it a bit more. And jogging, 40 seconds, half a dozen exercises, three rounds, pretty simple, minor tweaks, but it makes logical sense. We're gonna hit the upper body, anterior, posterior, lower body, do some range, hit the core, not specifically, but indirectly with a bunch of these compound movements. All right, so we'll set it up uh, and get ready for the split squat exercise. I, I was already sweating before the warm up, now I'm adequately sweating. Let's see what happens here. Okay, rear foot elevated into position. We don't want to go too far over the toes here. We want to be able to keep the spine vertical. Okay. And ready, set, go. So breathing in, feeling a stretch. Everything's tight, maintain and balance and full extension. It's a lot of work being done. Fifteen seconds. And last one. Good. Time. Catch your breath. It's forty seconds right there. A couple of recovery breaths. Get that foot in position again, other side. Okay, good thing. Ready, set. Go. Definitely feeling that everywhere. Ten seconds. Last one. Okay, good. Woo! That was a little heavy. I'm gonna lighten that load up next time and consider going to 30 seconds. That's all right. We're just gonna be flexible in the mind and in our approach. Okay, push-ups. Getting that set up. Perhaps you have a handle, perhaps you have rear foot elevated. Either way, it's fine. You got your knee option, or you can go from the toe. Ready, set, go. Fifteen seconds. Last five. Last one. Good time. Whew, this one's gonna be nasty. All right, dumbbell row. We'll get set up for that. Nasty in a good way. We need this, right? Okay, good. 
Find yourself in position. Ready, set, go. Keeping the elbow in close to the ribs. Full extension without, with, while we still keep those hips square. Breathe in, lower. Exhale, bring it up, squeeze. Ten seconds. Time. Great. Switch it over to the other side. Same idea. This stuff never feels easy, but uh, we're here for gains, right? So this is actually going to work. Ready, set. Go. Ten seconds. Last one. Yep, that's it. Good. We'll break after the round unless you absolutely need it, I understand. How far apart are you putting those bars? We want to be in uh, basically just so that I'm outside my ribs. Right, right about here. Okay, not too much of this. We don't need that extra torque. And too much of this gives us a weird in angle. So perfectly parallel with the forearms, just outside the ribs. All right, so getting on the toes. Whew, dunk, jumping jacks, 40 seconds. Ready, set, go. The rate of perceived exertion here is probably around 60 or 70%. Twenty seconds. And that's it right there. Shake it out. Last one's a jog. We'll take a break. We'll shorten the time and I'm lowering my weight for the uh, split squats. Gonna keep it honest, but reasonable. Ready, set, into a jog. Again, not crazy, but we have, we're in the flow state, we're getting the volume in. Focus on form, landing light on the toes, picking those heels up towards the hips. shake it out. Okay, good first round. We'll make some adjustments after some water, but let's go grab that. I hope your music is, is pumping. You got some sweet songs on there. listening to some uh, Elton John Yellow Brick Road album earlier. I was, that's a sick album. Okay, yeah, it's another, it'll take about another 60 seconds, but we can start putting around and uh, think about setting up.
Okay, so I'm going with a little bit slightly lighter ball. And it's gonna be hard, but let's commit to 35 seconds. Okay, our last round will be 30 seconds or a descending set or walking down the back side of the pyramid. All right, set it up, get in position, ready, set, go. Again, core's nice and tight, getting a good range through the hip and squeezing those shoulders and triceps here. When it gets hard, slow it down and focus on technique and breathing. I'd rather see you slow it down in good form than keep it up at a high tempo and start to fail. Good. All right, catch your breath. Whew. Like with a lot of unilateral exercises that are hard, uh, catch your breath in between sides. Okay, right about there. Find it, set it up, ready, set, go. Ten seconds. Higher to set. And time right there. Whew. Okay, good. Push ups. Get set for that. So, yeah, similar to what we recommend for military style, which is under the shoulder, a neutral grip puts us in around the same place. Toes up on your surface. Ready, set, 35 seconds, go. Think about squeezing that core and getting some core gains out of this. 15 seconds. Five. Last one. Whew. Oh, good. Come out. And we'll make sure we got our station set up for dumbbell rows or whatever weight makes sense. Forgot to mention also, you might not have weights, but you might have a TRX suspension trainer or a chin up bar with with or without resistance bands. Okay. Here we go. Dumbbell bent row. Ready, set, go. 35 seconds. So we're resting a little bit longer, but the intensity's up a notch, isn't it? Whew. Ten seconds. Last one. Time. Good. Other side. Some of this is mental, right? Some of this is psychological rust. Let's get a little stronger in a couple different departments. Physical, mental. Ready? Set up to the other side. Go. Last ten seconds. Last one, being time. 
Catch your breath. Just have a little visual. See if I'm working at all. It looks like I am, right? Feeling it, but it also feels great. So uh, yeah, we'll get some cardio in and switch gears. Ready, on the toes. Two, three, and go jumping jacks. 35 seconds. All right, if it's starting to kill, moderate it. Take your uh, perceived exertion down one or two notches. 10 seconds. And time. Okay, speed skaters. Again, control the intensity. Ready, set, go. Like you could just be in here. I think I skipped these last rounds, but whatever. We're on a good pace. Five seconds. Time. Almost there. Back up. This could be your pace for the round, but you pick. Ready, set, go. I'm at a more mild pace myself. Right in here feels good. Try to have to find like a steady intensity that you can maintain. Ten more seconds here. Just landing on the balls of the feet. Time, shake it out. And grab some water. We'll take maybe two minutes here. Last round will be the shortest round. See if you can make adjustments to be in the right zone. Like usual, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't working or feeling this. The difference between activity and exercise is exercise is structured. So we do things like choose target intensities durations, specific exercises, right? It's a lot different than going for a hike when you feel like it or going for a two minute swim and go laying down on the beach, right? That's about a minute there, so another 30 to 60 seconds of recovery and get yourself set up for a split. Uh, basically a Bulgarian split squat with a with a press. Maybe a Bulgarian medicine ball thruster. I don't know. We just need to know what we're talking about. Ten more seconds for ninety seconds reps. Ten minutes left in the day for the for the session. You know what, there's 90 seconds there. Let's get after it. 30 seconds per activity, per exercise. Ready, set, go. Nice and slow, good form, especially when you're fatigued, right? I'm slowing mine down, focusing on a tight core. Nice tricep involvement at the top. And this is the last thing. 10 seconds for this side. And last one, time. Recover. Woo, heart rate's going up a little bit, climbing up steeply. 
Okay, getting ready. Find your position. Set. Go. Other side, last one of these. Five seconds. Last one. Bah. Time. Beauty. Whew. Get your station set up. Push ups. Last time rolling through this. Okay. Ready. Set. Go. Remember, these are our gains. Who cares who else is doing this? Fifteen. Five. Setting up your rowing station. Ready, set, go. Again, 30, 30 seconds only. to the other side. Ready, set, go. <sighs> 10 seconds. Last one. Okay, good. Whew, I can't speak for everyone else, but to me that feels entirely valid. Really feeling it. On to jumping jacks, 30 seconds only. Kind of a nice relief. On our way out so we can stretch. Ready, set, go. Again, find a sustainable pace. And time. Whew, shake it out. Think it's speed skaters and finish off with a jog. A minute total. Let's get after it so we can recover and stretch. Ready, set, go. Just a little hop. It makes it easier to balance if you already start thinking about going back the other way. That way you're leaned that leg forward a bit where you want to go in that direction. Five seconds. And time. Whew. Okay, last thing, let's not even rest right now. We'll rest after. Recovering here. 
Only 30 seconds left. Ready, set, go. I'm just kicking my heels back a little bit. Shoulders back, chin up. Chest exaggerated, sticking it out. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Shake it out. And step it out. Okay, one, one leg comes up, opposite hand. Just catching our breath. Shout out to Mary Thompson, step class instructor here. Okay, and just feet barely coming off the ground. Next level, uh, cool down. Okay, shake it out, grab that last bit of water. All right, so let's start with a standing stretch, thumb down, bring the arm across, behind the elbow and pull across, keep everything square, core tight, and breathe. Other side. Shower's gonna feel excellent. Got a nice little physical reset. Hand up and behind the elbow. Breathe in and exhale, bring it down a little bit. Chin up to keep breathing. Keep that airway open. If you can't breathe then, and you're being restricted, then back off a bit. Other side. Let's do a standing chest stretch. Interlace behind the back. Get the thumbs on the tailbone. Okay, and we're just gonna stand feet close together. Breathe in. Exhale as we hinge and pull back. Okay, coming up out of that. Keep, catch your breath, breathe in. Exhale, one ear to one shoulder, stretching out your neck. So we got three or four minutes left in class. We'll use every bit of it to stretch out a bit. Breathe in. Exhale, other side. Great. A nice fairly wide stance, turn one foot in the direction we want to lean, bend that leg, okay, I'll come back a little bit so you can see my legs, and arm comes back like so, tight core, and just a nice long line, side bend and reach. Nice little reminder that, oh yeah, I haven't done this in days, this specific stuff. And that's why it fits in so nicely periodically. Switch to the other side, breathe in, tight core, lean, reach, and extend. Good. Stretching up the inner leg, lean to one side like so, straight back. We won't belabor the lower body today, but we'll get some of it. And smoothly switching off to the other side. Uh, yeah, 
excuse me. Forgot how good the microphone is on these cameras. Okay, coming out. Let's have a seat for one more. Let's just isolate the hamstrings. One leg out, one up against. Sit tall, breathe in. Exhale, one side at a time. Other side, breathe in, sit tall. Square up, exhale, hinge. Okay, that's it for now. Some of that, we've got some of the legs, we uh, stretched out the chest, triceps, even the biceps a little bit doing this one. Uh, the neck and so on. We got the core, some cardiovascular training in, uh, some muscular endurance bordering on strength, and a reasonable variety, right? And then that's going to be an all. That's going to be a nice. Uh, it's going to be a nice complement to some of your jogging, your walking, swimming, your biking, uh, yoga, and all that other stuff. Um, that yard work feels good. Get something done and then it feels good to sit down in the shade after that. Walk my dog more regularly has been great. Uh, keep it up. We're uh, getting fit here together. Uh, I'm enjoying this and uh, have fun. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.